Here is a plant-based quinoa salad recipe for you. If you are looking to add in more plants to your diet, want something quick, easy, filling, nutritious, and full of protein, this is for you. We're gonna start with some dried chickpeas or garbanzo beans and put them into a container where we will soak them overnight. I like to rinse the dried beans first before I soak them just to remove any dirt or debris that could be on them. You can also use canned beans if you don't want to use dried beans. That is a perfectly fine option as well. That way you also don't have to soak them overnight. However, if you are someone who is trying to improve your gut health or maybe beans cause a little bit of gas or indigestion, Try the dried beans. When you have dried beans and soak them overnight, especially if you're adding kombu like I am doing right now, a type of seaweed, it really helps with the digestive process. Next up, we're going to use quinoa. So one cup of quinoa has eight grams of protein. I like using this tri-colored quinoa. However, you can use whatever type of quinoa that you want. You can also use a different grain for this as well too. Quinoa is very high in fiber. It is loaded with minerals like magnesium and potassium, iron. It has lots of fiber and folate. It is a complete protein as well too. So if you are looking to go more plant-based, uh, quinoa has is a complete protein. If you had any seaweed in your soaking water, go ahead and dispose of that. I like to put mine in the compost. And we're going to rinse and drain our chickpeas. So drain them in a strainer as such and give them a little rinse. I like to use a pressure cooker when I do any grain or dried beans. It takes way less time and it's quite handy. So pour your chickpeas into your pressure cooker if you have one, otherwise you can cook them on the stove and fill with nice clean filtered water. I turn my pressure cooker to 22 and make sure you close the little lid. I never did read the instructions for my pressure cooker, so if yours is different, then please do as uh, per your pressure cooker. And then same thing with the quinoa. Give it a drain and a rinse as well. You will want one cup of quinoa, which means two cups of water. And first start by pouring your water into a pan and bringing it to a boil. While the chickpeas and quinoa are cooking, we are going to chop up some veggies. We have celery and cucumber as well as bell pepper. Grab yourself a large bowl. We're going to be putting all of our veggies in there as well as a knife to do your dicing. I like to save all of my vegetable scraps and put them into a reusable bag which I put in my freezer and once that bag gets full of veggie scraps I use those to make my own vegetable broth. This is how I like to chop my veggies, and you can certainly chop them just like this as well. However, if you chop your veggies differently, then by all means, chop them either smaller or bigger to whatever suits your fancy.
celery is loaded with mineral salts, which is great for your body as well as your bone health. I like to aim to add as much color as I can to my meals. So this recipe calls for one bell pepper. So I'm gonna do half of a red and half of an orange. And then I do have some leftover yellow bell pepper from the other day, so I will be adding that as too. The more color that you can add to your meals, the better, as that is a wider variety of vitamins and minerals that you are putting into your body. When your water starts to boil, go ahead and add your quinoa. Give it a gentle stir. Feel free to add a little bit of salt if you want, and then don't touch it. Reduce the heat just a little bit, put the lid on, and leave it there. It will take about 10 to 15 minutes for your quinoa to cook, and when it is done, we will fluff it. Cucumbers are a very hydrating and alkalizing food, which is really good for us in this day and age as we tend to have more foods and be in environments that put our body into more of an acidic state, which can cause disease. So the more cucumbers and dark leafy vegetables that we can consume, the better. Let's make the dressing next. So you're gonna want some olive oil, a little bit of mustard, lemon, salt and pepper, and then also a little bit of maple syrup as well. Feel free to use a Dijon mustard if you prefer the Dijon type of mustard. We'll want one third cup of olive oil. And all of the quantities and the full recipe is for you down in the description box. You will also want half of a lemon juiced. I like to strain out any of the big pulp pieces as well as the seeds. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. two teaspoons of mustard, and a couple pinches of salt and a pinch of black pepper. And 
and a gentle shake is all that is needed to mix up your dressing. Now let's check on the quinoa. After about 10 to 15 minutes, your quinoa should be ready. So give it a little stir either with a spoon or a fork and it should have absorbed all of the water and be kind of fluffy. The chickpeas got one minute left. I like to run cool water over the quinoa to cool it down as this is a cold quinoa salad and not a hot quinoa salad. So I run cool water over it, give it a little stir and then the strain. Quinoa also helps us balance our blood sugar, it improves skin health and digestion and it helps us feel full longer so if you are trying to lose weight quinoa is perfect for you. The chickpeas are done now too, so I unplug my pressure cooker and I prefer to put the pressure cooker outside to release all of the steam, um, otherwise it kind of goes everywhere in the kitchen. So. I bring my pressure cooker outside and click that little release button to let the steam out outside. And of course, have a little fun in the kitchen, right? It's a big part of cooking. Go ahead and rinse your chickpeas with cool water as well to cool them down and then you can add them into the same bowl with the veggies and the quinoa. Give it a good stir to mix everything together. Next up is the dressing. So go ahead and add that dressing that you made and give it a few more stirs. I also like to add some other kind of either nut or seed, another healthy fat into this salad. So today I am adding crushed hazelnuts. Find your favorite bowl. Mine is this olive wood bowl. I use this for every meal that I eat out of unless it is a plate kind of meal. So find your favorite bowl, add in however much of this that suits your fancy and ta-da! I hope you enjoyed this recipe.